Hey, how you doing? This is Scotty D, the guy from Z Hills. I got a little test for you to do. Uh, it's not going to take long. It don't take a much of a mental, but I just need you to type small things. Um, just the small little things that, as, as for a comment of which politicians belong to which house. I just want to see how educated, how smart the average person is by who owns which house by the politicians that are running for the White House. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to show you some houses here, okay? So what we have is we're going to post up four different houses for four different politicians. We have the Beachside Bungalow, which is at uh, 13 million. We have the Hampton Hideaway, 11 million. We have the Countryside Castle, which is at 1.7 million. We have the Embassy Estate at 5.7 million. Okay, now all four of these houses, as you see right here, um, they're all going to be set together so that you can see the houses in one frame. Now, I'm going to pull up the next frame, which is going to be this one right here. Now, this one shows you the houses with the politicians. Okay? So now I want you to see that. Now, at this point, I want you to start lining up uh, Hillary's to Jeb Bush to Ben Carson to Marco Rubio. Very simple, right? Just simple. It's nothing hard. Okay, and you're going to see like uh, uh, Marco Rubio's MR, and HC is you know, Hillary Clinton, BC is Ben Carson, JB is, and so on. So anyhow, that's all you got to do is leave your comment. You can put a number sign, a hashtag, it don't matter. But anyhow, I'll give you some time to go ahead and uh, put your little comments in there of which house belongs to which politician. Okay? But now I want to go to something else. There's one thing I want to talk about was the New York. I'll give you the answer at the end of the video. But I want to under you to understand that this time that the New York, you probably already heard it, that the New York Times, which I call the New York Toilet Paper Slime Times, which is about as worthless uh, flushing down the toilet. So that's about what you can do with New York Times newspaper. Anyhow, they've decided to beat up on Marco Rubio, and I'm sure many of you heard it, for his yacht for uh, 80, his $80,000 yachts that they were kind of harping about. Now, here's his yacht. Okay, now I want you to understand something. That yacht, okay, keep in mind reference to the houses that we're talking about. Now, that yacht is a fishing boat. Okay, now what I need you to understand is that fishing boat doesn't even have a bathroom. If you got to go pee, <laughs> you got to go over the edge. Let Mother Nature take its course, baby. If you're out in the salt water, just add to it. But anyhow, let's get back to the test that I want you to understand. Now, by this time, you should hopefully have figured out um, Marco Rubio, Ben Carson, uh, Hillary Clinton, and Jeb Bush, which, I, like I said before, very simple, right here. Just use this little diagram, okay? Now, once I, you know, I don't want you to cheat and read other people's information, but I will tell you who owns these houses. It's her, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, she owns them all. So I like to tell people, yeah, she's really, she's one of us. She's definitely one of us. And I always like that old famous saying, what difference does it make? Yeah, Hillary. It makes a big difference. Trying to be one of us. No, Hillary. You're far from it. You're a pathetic, pathetic individual that lies, cheats, steals. And here's what gets me. Hillary's husband, Bill Clinton, we all know him. Why in the world is, are, why are, in this country, why are we allowing a president that was literally kicked out of office because he lied to the national public for having sex in the White House? Sexual relations in the White House. In my house. In our house. Okay, w think about it. Why would we allow that man to walk into the White House after he has shamed it, shamefully disgusting, 
shamed my house, our house. And he was impeached for lying to the nation and the world. But yet, his wife can run, and that little slimy dog can slip right back into the White House. You know, we have something that's called good moral ethics. It's gone right out the freaking window. This is Scotty D, the guy from Z Hills. Just something to think about. What difference at this point does it make? <laughs>